So over the weekend, I had plans to put my head down and do nothing but record in Horizon 4. Little did I know those plans were going to be changed up big time. I decided to take the night off and do a little racing with a few teammates in Forza Motorsport 7. Our gracious hosts of the Stoozy and Fox show, PTG Fox and PTG Stoozy B85, are going to be hosting the inaugural Ferrari FXXK F Cup. They're going to host six different races, each of which will have a five lap qualifier and the races will be 10 laps. Everyone will be driving the FXXK using the same tune by Toasty Ostrich. The lobbies will be hosted starting today and be ran every Wednesday through May 15th. Race one is Mugello, April 10th. Race two is Spa Francorchamps, April 17th. Race three is Silverstone, April 24th. Race four is the Ring Grand Prix, May 1st. Race five is Circuit of the Americas on May 8th. And finishing it off for race six is Suzuka on May 15th. These races will be ran during the Stuzy and Fox show live stream on Mixer. The races will start at 9.30 p.m. UK time, 4.30 p.m. Eastern time in the US. Last Friday, like I said, a bunch of us were in the lobby doing some testing on the tune that will be used for everyone participating. Toasty Ostrich has been working very hard recently on tuning in Forza Motorsport 7 and Horizon, so everyone decided to use one of his tunes because of how great he's been doing. As a group, we were running the FXXKs in our class. It was the most fun I've had in Forza Motorsport 7. This was the first time I'd played Motorsport since Horizon 4 was released, so it took me a while to knock the rust off. The first race we ran, I started in P2 and ended up finishing in first, pretty handily. I got back in the groove of things pretty quickly. I actually started recording on our second race. I wanted to give myself some time to get used to it. We were hot lapping on Mugello, and it got a little hectic at times, but man, I forgot just how great this circuit is, especially running the FXXK. I started the first recorded race in P9. That first straight at Mugello was so fast, and going into the hairpin turn one can be a bit messy. I did decide to do a little dive into the first corner. My braking was pretty good, but I got out of the steering a little early and pushed knuckles a bit. I apologized and we moved on. Everyone seemed to get away fairly clean though. It was a pretty competitive race for me. I definitely had my offs though. I pretty much opened the door for the cell runner and he pieced out on me. I had to put my head down and finally caught up with him and Mardag. I finally got him thanks to cell runner spearing Mardag in turn one. He missed that braking zone very bad. I ended up finishing P4, so not a bad outcome for starting in P9. The next race, we moved on to Circuit de Barcelona, Catalunya, and I was so nervous about this race. I started P7 here and made up some pretty good ground on the first lap. I forgot to hit record at the beginning. Oof. Catalunya is a pretty difficult race, especially in high power cars. Toasty Ostrich built this car for tons of power, and it was a bit rough to get used to at first, but once I got the hang of it, I was alright. This car has tons of low end torque, so it was difficult to get out of the corners without Ken blocking my way around the entire track. I was struggling the whole race to catch up with PTG Jamie's son, Felony Demon. He is so quick. His dad taught him pretty damn well. I pretty much followed him and Reaper Mech around until the finish, where I ended P3. I was really happy with my result for starting so far back. The last race, we moved on to one of my favorite circuits, Suzuka. Problem is, it was in the rain. I started P6 in this race and somehow managed to get myself into last place by around the sixth corner. The puddles in the corners here are so tough to handle. I simply gave it a little too much juice on the exit and spun out. Luckily I didn't take anyone else out with me. I had a ton of ground to make up so I focused on a slower but more steady pace. I found myself moving through the pack fairly quickly on this one, picking off one person at a time. Suzuka is such an amazing track but driving in the rain here can really piss off. I felt mentally exhausted by lap 5. I ended up finishing P4 here and I was extremely proud of that result. I caught up with the top 3 by the end, so that's not too bad for someone who spun out and came from last to fourth. After the lobby, me, the Cell Runner, and one of Cell's Twitch subs jumped into a private lobby and just ran some hot laps around the Nordschleife. I ended up recording a clean and fast lap, so that's what I'm going to leave you with today. My goal was to run a clean lap under 7 minutes. Check out the lap to see if I did it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate all of you who were able to make it to my birthday Q&A livestream. It was such a great turnout and I had a ton of fun. I do plan on doing more of these moving forward. I feel like I was able to connect more with you guys. Please be sure to hit the like button for me on this video. And anyone who's new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button for me. It would really mean a lot. Thanks again for watching. Now sit back, strap in, and enjoy. Much love everyone. See you soon.